So today's project's a little different. We're putting a wireless bridge for a bridge. Now, to make this even weirder, I'm actually on an island right now. And that's the route for the bridge. So the bridge connects the island to the shore. Now, where this gets even stranger, the internet is on the island. And no internet over here on this side. On the mainland, uh, because of the way it's industrial built, so we actually have to put the internet here, which we have installed in this big metal box. And the Comcast line comes in here and we have it sealed and the heater's going in there for the winter uh, because it's where the Comcast box is and it makes sure it's dry, it's got seals around it and all the ports are closed. And then we are running the wire all along here in order to get it to the pole over there, which one of my guys is on. So let's talk real quick about the technical details. These are Ubiquiti Nano Station M516s, and uh, we're doing a speed test once we had them all set up. They were getting a 30 meg circuit from Comcast, and they're getting 30 megs across about roughly uh, half a mile of water. Now, the just, uh, air quality, the air max quality stayed pretty high, May, never really dipped below 91%. Most time it stayed right around 97, 98%. Now this is a pivoting bridge, you may have noticed from the beginning of the video, and that means when the bridge pivots, it also kind of blocks the signal. So what we did there was test it with the bridge pivoting, which we had to wait around. There's a lot of, you know, you can't just spin it whenever you want, it upsets traffic. But anyways, we had them do a test and they spun the bridge, no interference, it works great. They pass right through it, which this is a really old built in 1913 steel bridge. We were kind of surprised. We thought maybe it would have uh, some degradation on the signal, which is why we tested it. We didn't want their internet going out every time they spin the bridge, even though they don't spin it for very long. Uh, so they, once again, they, you know, nano beams performed as expected and let me give you kind of an overview of what this place looks like. So the land side, is uh, we'll zoom way out here, so this is the island and uh, on the island is residential but as you can see on the See, on the land side, it's all industrial. Because of that, Comcast does not have any lines there. Comcast actually runs a fiber optic under the water and comes up over to the island. So that means there's internet on the island for high speed and there's just no high speed available internet over on this side. Uh, they will install it, but they, they will charge a fortune for the build out. So that's why we put the nano beams. And the uh, box we had is over on the land side because they own the property, but don't have a building over there. They just own the property where the bridge connects to. And then we uh, went down the line here and ran the wire for to one of the light poles that's over here. I don't know if Google, yeah, Google Maps can kind of see the light poles, but and then it beams it all the way across to where the toll bridge uh, toll system is. And of course, they need internet because that's how they charge your credit cards. Because this is not a free bridge; this is a privately owned pay bridge to the island. So. That's kind of the overview of this project. It was uh, fun. Glad it's, uh, you know, everything went really smooth. Everything worked as tested first time. Um, no issues at all. If you have uh, questions or comments about it, uh, leave them below or send me a message. Thank you very much.